going on, everyone? So, I got two coffees, apparently. So, I'm going to be up all night. Um, yes, so we just went over Bitcoin. And now this is the second video that we're doing. And I'm not actually going to be in it. I'll jump in from time to time. But this is going to be Carrie Adams and Priscilla. Uh, my astrologer, you guys know her very well. Both of them, you should. And they're going to talk about the legal that they don't want you to know and how it ties into the spiritual. So I'm not even going to prep this, but ladies, if you want to come in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Hey, hey. All, right. All right. I just want to take a second and for like everyone watching to understand kind of what's going on here. And I, I kind of related the fact that first of all it's really cool because we have like multi-racial people in this room people on different levels people with spiritual talents um people with um you know the law talents we have we have such a diverse group in here and it just reminded me it reminded me of the celestine prophecy book so if you Ooh, haven't read it nice, please read it listen nice. to the audiobook whatever you have to do but basically the precipice of that book is essentially if we would stop dividing our freaking selves and get in a room with the Mexicans and the Jews and the Native Americans and the Puerto Ricans and the Canadians and what's your nationality, man? I don't Irish even know. Polish. Irish, Polish. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> if we stop looking at our differences and religions and our beliefs and our political affiliations and we sit down and we actually break apart the best things of what we've known and our morals and what we have learned from those religious upbringings and we sit down and we do this, we, we were saying we could literally talk all night because we're bringing those pieces together. So it doesn't matter if I believe what everybody else believes or if you believe, what, what we're under saying is tear the veil, yeah. tear mm. the veil. Because, you know, like we were talking on the break, um, you know, at growing up in, in the Christian religion, basically it was stay away from astrology, stay away from crystals, stay away from anything per se new age, which is actually the old age. Mm. So it's an Absolutely. illusion as well, That mm. to me that term, right? Um, even though it's new for us. But you know, like I say, what, what did the Levite priests wear on their breastplate? Crystals for yes. protection. Mm -hmm. Who created the stars? God. So we're, we're dividing ourselves without actually going in and looking at the core. So tear the freaking veil. That is my message. And I feel that if we start doing this and kind of use that idea, we can literally change the world. And once yes. what we share today um, this information, Priscilla and I have kind of come across, and I've been looking at it for about a decade, but very short spurts of time, and most recently gotten into it a lot more. We're going to actually take it from the Bitcoin aspect, because in my perspective, we have the three factions that rule everything. Education and religion, all through the Vatican, London through the money, and then our military through D.C., which is the law, which is where we come in. Yes. So if we sit down and we have these conversations, we're like, whoa, and it, like we're having these aha moments. They're going to start popping out. But we've got to stop dividing ourselves yes. and sit down in a room and say, yeah, we're different. We come from different places, and I don't agree with you on this and whatever, but we have this all piece pieces that come together in this giant puzzle. So for me personally, we, like Micah said, we are not going to change the world in this generation, but we're the stepping stone. That's why we're here. We're the ones taking that first step so that when this stuff becomes common knowledge, our kids, well, I don't have any kids, but you have kids, but my nieces and nephews, they're going to know this. This is going to be common knowledge that there is an entity yes. created, okay, mm -hmm. and and I'm gonna steal this phrase from Brian Parker. I wish he was here. He's supposed to be. Oh my gosh, the yeah. legal imitates the spiritual. Oh, it yes. emulates it. And so once you see that piece, you're gonna look at law a whole different way. Yes. We are doing everything wrong. The money, we don't understand it. You think you get a paycheck, you go put it in the bank and you pay your bills and buy things with it. You're so wrong on how it works, and I was too. We all are. And so, again, when we take a look at that piece from uh, the money aspect through London, how are we dismantling these systems? The pen is mightier than the sword, right? It's the brain. We don't have to fight for it. We just ex we spread the knowledge. That's it, right? The 80-20 rule. Like 20% of the people, 80% will catch on because now they know. Mm -hmm. um, so I love this map. I'm going to kind of lead in with this because... He was talking about Bitcoin. He had this map up that his, your mom drew this, correct? Which I think is yeah. absolutely amazing yeah. because <laughs> when you start learning what they've done with money, let me just give you a piece of, a quick example of what we don't know, okay? 
I'm just going to throw this out there. This is a whole other. This is a whole other episode. Probably we're supposed to be taking our paychecks, dropping them in a treasury direct account, which is yep. where we're going to talk about the X because X marks the spot for the treasurer. You're supposed to be depositing into a treasury direct account, and the treasury, as a thank you for putting po- um, knocking off the debt, taking off the national debt, will yes. give you the same amount of money mm-hmm. as a thank you on the credit side. And then they, you can take have a broker take and trade that for you in the free government market, which we cannot just walk in on. It has to be a broker. And they guarantee a return of double your investment within 45 days. Yes. Do you understand that this could completely change poverty mm-hmm. in a matter mm-hmm. of, what, a few years? Yeah. yeah. So the knowledge has to be put out there that we don't know how it works. We are so uneducated. They want to keep us down. We get that. That's why we're all here is to get the messages out. So we're doing everything wrong. Everything that we ever knew, get rid of it. It's it's garbage. All we continually it. live in this debt system. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through this. So I'm gonna continually kind of refer to this, but basically I'm gonna talk about uh, how they've converted common law into maritime law by creating a commercial entity out of you, okay? Question. So we're gonna, I yes. Question. I thought maritime law was the first thing that was created. Is that not the case? Well, the shipping in the trade industry, right, goes all the way back to the East West India Company, where they were kind of the bullies of the world. Their flag mm-hmm. looks an awful lot like the United States flag, mm-hmm. by the way. Interesting. Uh, so the East West India Company, they wanted to actually control the trade, the market, mar, mare, thank Mary you, time. Santos Bonacci, mm-hmm. uh, the sea, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, which is why we'll talk about why where DC is where it's at mm-hmm. because the mare, uh, mm-hmm. it touches, mare, the Potomac touches right. all the bodies of water. Mare, yep. mare, mare, absolutely, Mary, mare, it's all mother. the same. Mary. Yeah, mm-hmm. madre, yeah. Madre. So it's all the same. Um, so what they've done is kind of trick us with language Yes. Um, and, and that's the kind of the biggest thing. Don't let me forget about citizen because that's the biggest one that I found in the, in the wordplay. Yes. Um, so basically what they've done is, is kind of taken this whole, the natural person in the common law, because common law is common sense. If I, my dog goes over and digs 20 holes in your yard and your cow falls in and breaks its leg, who's responsible? Pretty simple. Do we need to go to court? No. No, no. but people Most do. Most of that stuff was outlined in the Code of Hammurabi, which is where the Bible gets their 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 punishments and their rewards and, and that, the system of that. Yeah, and it's it's all like if you really think about it. Um, in the Essene Gospel of Peace, they're talking about it, and uh, Jesus says, "Well, you've gotten the ten laws, but I actually ju- we just gave one, which is do unto others." Mm-hmm. So if that was you, what would you want? Now, I I'm not saying the legal system should be gone. We have disputes and we have these things, right? Like we get that. We all get that. It's not like it can just go away. But do you need 4 million plus laws? Because that's how many there are. There's probably more than that now. That was that last count, probably several years ago. Um, so basically what we're looking at is how they converted our ourselves, our vessel, on the sea of energy that we live in. Our bodies. Our bodies. And they've basically, see, I love this, like, kind of it's just perfect it's the treasure map to the treasure which is you Mm -hmm. so the money comes in that's how we transition from the bitcoin because again how do we get out of the system you gave us the answer the the currency that we control our energy our current the current we are the money it's the current c so i'm going to kind of as we talk here i'm going to kind of draw this out for you so you get a visual and i'm going to give uh roses to Kirk Callenbach for this, because that's where I learned it, and I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. And I've, I've told a lot of people this, um, some of these folks I've listened to for years. Okay, so we have. The, the hard thing is uh, you're writing, but the mic, you're not talking to the mic. You're... I'm just gonna draw for a second. Okay, draw for a sec, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, while you're doing that, I forgot to add that everything that happens on Bitcoin, every transaction can be used legally in the court of law. Mm. So all of the legal stuff is built into every transaction on Bitcoin. It's immutable for the rest of time. I am not a very good artist, so we're going to go with it. <laughs> it <looks> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we are the current of the sea, and all currents come from like the rivers, right? The rivers and the bank controls the river. Oh. And the yeah, and the reason for that is because you come out of your mother's waters. You are the water, yep. also. Yes, and this lovely word. is phonetically bank. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna tie that into the law, okay? So now you start to see they've Im- how they've imitated it, which is really interesting. So we've got this 
ebb and flow of the wave. There's your market cycles, mar, ket, mare, mm -hmm. the sea. Um, so, and again, that's I'm bringing in Santos, Kurt, like a couple different people on this, but this is where they, they've converted it. So they want to control of, this, of the, the waterways. So all the rivers eventually, especially on the Potomac, which is DC, mm -hmm. touches every body of water in the world. Yeah. And islands are actually kind of outside of those jurisdictions. That's why it's on everything comes out of New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got our ship here and that's you, that's the vessel, but you have someone else navigating you. Mm -hmm. And they're telling you what to do. Dick, that's the dictator ship. So you've got friendship, you know, all the ships, right? Mm -hmm. Dealership, you've got all, any, well, I can't even think of them all, but right? We've got, yeah, 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 so there's your dictatorship, the captain, right, who kind of tells everybody what to do. So this is how they converted it into the bank, bank benching. <laughs> so the same thing, so uh, if you're drowning in debt, <laughs> yeah. you're called underwater, Yeah. right? You're underwater, you're drowning in debt. This is where the ship underneath the water, it's called a draft. Checking your draft. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the bank, right? So your captain throws you a lifeline, a line of credit <laughs> to save your life. You see where they're doing? Mm -hmm. So we're all in this current sea together, but we're all like the little people drowning in debt. <laughs> <laughs> now, you remember in the Titanic, all the poor people were below deck. They were all underwater. Yes. It's no. showing you. That was that mm -hmm. And interestingly, most of us watching this probably know the story of the Titanic yes. and who was on that Fed ship. So we'll leave that. About of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is your your you know your overdraft, your underdraft, all of those uh, checking accounts that were closed were never closed. Let's just say that. Um, so it's this is how your maritime law comes in. So um, all of the law is kind of based on the maritime. So now we're going to back up and talk about the birth. The ship. So, what first off, when you got into this, Priscilla, what kind of questions, like what was coming through your mind? Like, what? I understood it esoterically first um, through astrology. And then when I got to uh, understand Santos' aspect of it, I was able to understand on the, you know, physical side. So, where I came in at it was understanding the jurisdictions and understanding when you're born through your mother, through the waters the doctor is docking your shit for you. And that's why you have a living birth certificate. That's the living version of you. But then they tell you, go register yourself. So, or mo the mom goes and registers you. And now you have given your child legally to the state of, um, and they become your parents patron, which means parent. So that's how I came into it, understanding that aspect of it. Um, and then from there, yeah, I just kind of went down that rabbit hole. And yeah. yeah. So once yeah. you get that it's all maritime, mm -hmm. Mary time, and remember Mary was the virgin birth. So if you yes. notice on your birth, which is where you hold the cargo, the birth certificate, yep. right, that, that certifies it. what's on the ship. Just like the when manifest. they dock the ships, they have to give that, what, what Micah was saying, the manifest. Right. So it's the same thing. So they've basically taken that and then, you know, now you're out here and you can't claim anything because <laughs> you're floating, right? You're the person well, in the you're water. Dead. You're dead now. Yeah, you're dead they entity They legally now. registered you as a dead entity. Right. So this is why you have no jurisdiction to your, what you're entitled to, your state. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like where the, the money comes in. And, and so you're actually, that's why I love the little picture of the skull up there because that's the dead. Represents your dead. The dead, dead entity. entity. Right. And, and lost at sea. And they're the pirates of the Caribbean, of the Caribbean yeah. because the mm -hmm. IRS is headquartered in exactly. Puerto Rico or the rich port. Puerto Rico. Rich port. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once you see that stuff, you know, you start going, wait a minute, you know, mm -hmm. who am I giving my money to? And it's all offshore trust. Mm -hmm. um, yes, so exactly. that's kind of how they're doing it. So let's back up a little bit. Um, what they've done. So once you're dead and you're, you know, floating away at sea and you don't come back and claim anything. Um, they they claim it with that's your seven this years. what the 1666 SQB trust Act. yeah which has to do with the um, that has to do with the Black Plague when the Black Plague happened mm -hmm. the government took the king took control of everybody's Six. land and possessions and if you didn't come back in seven years and claim it then it rightfully became theirs and they thought wow this is a great idea yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the 1666 SQB that's kind of where it started or yep. set the key. Um, 
anyway, that's kind of how they started it. So now they thought, well, you know, we got to issue this death certificate, you know, too. <laughs> yep. And they make money off of all this stuff. Everything. They turn everything into bonds. So yes. anyway, let's back up a little bit. Okay. So now you, they've create, they thought this, this dead entity thing is a great idea. Mm -hmm. So when you're born, they create this certificate of you. Mm -hmm. And that is everything in law is certificated. You have to have a certified public accountant. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything. So anything with a certificate, gold certificate, stock certificate, cattle certificate. Certified. They're all certified. And they're, that's the money. That's what makes it legally the money. Yeah, but then we would know that in 1933, they took away all the money. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's if paper. I have $100,000 in gold in 1933 and you take away the gold, what do I have? Now, how am I passing that down? How am I making money for my you know, beneficiaries or my family, my kids? So what they did was they said, okay, we'll create this ledger system. Mm -hmm. And so they created a, a entity, like a dead entity system called the ledger. Mm -hmm. So you have the pause, that's where you get your positive and negative on the bank side. Mm -hmm. So your negatives, your dead side, your positive, obviously your living side. So what, and I, I should ask like, where, do you, where, like, I'm trying to figure out how we could do this because I went off on kind of a little tangent. No, so no, apologies. this is great. No, you're telling them the, <laughs> but like, the right way. But that part of this. So she's gonna <laughs> tell her story here too, how we kind of figured out, well, this yeah. how we've been helping each other out a lot. Yeah. Um, so what they did was they took this entity that they created on a certificate and they put it on a public trust side. So who had to manage it? A trustee. Okay, that's why if any of you ever gone through bankruptcy, suddenly a trustee or trustee appears in your court case out of nowhere, because there's a trust that governs this public site. Everything is in trust. Everything, mm -hmm. city utilities. I don't care what it is. And it starts it's from the Bible. Trust. Yeah, the, the Bible's covenant. a trust. It's a covenant. Yeah. So, so it's God, a God gives trust. man gave it to us. Oh, dominion over yes. the earth. That's trusting. Yep. You give your suit to a valet, or a, a, not a valet, car to a valet, your suit to cleaners. That's a trust. Mm -hmm. You will have a teacher watch your kid at school and teach that. That's trust. a trust. Mm -hmm. Everything we do all day long is trust. Everything. It's just the law of how we live, right? Yes. So that makes sense of why we do that. Um, so what they did is they created this public trust, but the public trust manages that paper you. So I can take a piece of paper and certificate it, right? And then I can put somebody's name on it has a value, that's why you're born with pounds, which is how British they, pounds. That's how they do the securities on the back end. Yeah, the which SEC. becomes a security, mm -hmm. okay? And anything, everything is a security, mm -hmm. everything. Which is and securities everything. fraud, yeah. everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they're, they're doing a lot that we can get into, but we're gonna try to like highlight how it started, you know, just mm -hmm. to get it, get, get everybody on the same page and how we get out, because that's the key thing. If we can teach everybody how to get out, right? That's Doesn't everyone want to know that? Because I don't know about you, but I don't like the, uh, I'm a, we'll write it up there just for, for visual. <laughs> and there's, uh, what's the Latin definition of government again? So govern is, uh, oh, I can't remember, like but it means. Mind, it meant is mind. Yes. Govern is control. There you so go, control, control, mind control. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's hidden in plain sight of what's going on because you believe that you are that name and social security number. That's Not your trust. trust number. Okay. Now, every, first thing everybody always asks is, well, can I access the trust? <laughs> I hate it. So annoying. <laughs> we are, I know. The short answer, <laughs> yes and no. Um, the whole thing they've done is they've paper pushed. None of us work for actual paychecks. We're all working for IOUs. It's paper. And you're actually Promissary getting paid notes. out of your trust because of how the flow of energy works. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So <clears throat> I understand how that works with the middle class because your trusts are worth millions, but when, when you start talking about billionaires, are you still getting paid out of the trusts? We, well, think about how did they become the right. billionaire. Yep. Mm -hmm. What I just told yeah. you, how we're supposed they to be doing it. Yep. Now do you yep. see how we've just shortened the gap? Because yep. now we know what's going on. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we've just now taken this gap of the one percenters and the rest of us Maybe there's some few in between. Yeah. Hmm. But we've now figured out how, what, they how are, they're doing it. Yeah. And that's the key, right? Because if this becomes common knowledge, then everybody knows, and now we all leveled out the playing field. Do you see how this is going to change humanity? That's Pluto into I Aquarius. Mean, really. That's Pluto to an Aquarius. Money to the people. Billionaire Pluto to the people. Aquarius. Yes. And so, yeah. long story short, everyone has money in their trust. Yes. And they don't 
want you to know about the trust, so that's why that word is I very what's it, uh, doesn't it also generate another million every year you're alive? That I don't know. This um, is I what can't... I was told. But what are you born with, with the birth certificate? How much? Well, it's in the pounds, in British pounds. Okay. Now, I did notice that when I rent, had my QCIP run to see how much was in my account, mm. they don't put it in millions. Of course not. It looks course. like, you know, $26.72 <laughs> until you read the fine print that shows that it's in millions. You know? Question? Yes. <laughs> is that why um, England didn't go into the euro? Possibly. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's a, a good, good question. Yeah. That's She's going to make question. me look that up now. I know. Yes. <laughs> More to come. <laughs> so we want to get out of the control, right? We all do in, in all different factions. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you guys that don't know, law is land, air, water. Okay. So that's the you know thing that we are governed by, the land, air, water, which goes back to the elements, right? You got the spirit, the land, air, water. Yeah. But on the private side, it's all equity at the end of the day. Because there's always, no money. There's no money. It's all equity. So it's all equal, like what's equal, which is what? The golden rule. Right. Mm -hmm. Fair, uh, do what's right, right? Yep. Do the, yep. the right thing, which is the balance, the equality. So that's, yeah. So the, the, the private side, which is what the natural born person actually is, mm -hmm. that's equity. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, like when I did my IRS case, um, I didn't, it was all equity. I didn't want any money from them. Right, I just wanted to state who I was because make, I knew that yeah, I was a divine. And make being. it equal, like, hey, yeah, <laughs> I know this. Yeah, Shout out to God. Anyway, <laughs> um, so they, yeah, so when we're born, we're actually on the private, but we don't know that because we don't even know that the system exists. Yep. So they automatically put you on the. As soon public. as you're registered with the birth certificate. Yeah, you are now on the public, and the state that you register in. A home birth or any of that. Exactly, kind of because that's once you're in, you birth in a hospital, exactly. Bingo. Right. The security's on the back end. A hospital. Yes. I read somewhere is a foreign port, by the way. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah it's a foreign port. Yeah, wow. and I don't remember because it was had to do with the hospitalers, which were part of the uh, Rosicrucian group. Again, I I think oh. there's some infiltration that happened there personally. Wow. But yeah, it goes back to oh, the hospitalers. Wow. Yeah. So if you look up that history, it's it's pretty interesting. But that's where the like Red Cross from the hospital comes from. There, oh, Jane Collection. He's turning into Michael. A Grinch stole my inch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, all right. So I drew this little chart up because somebody drew this up for me one time, and it wasn't exact, but it was the kind of same Such idea. A good way though to explain it. Yeah, yeah. guy named uh, he goes by Mach Machete Van Helsing. So yeah. I, I take everyone's class. I like to learn from everyone because Absolutely. everybody gives me a piece that somebody yeah. else won't give me. Mm -hmm. So I take everyone. So I, again, I'm Celeste Celeste prophesying it. That's like okay. I take what everybody's taking. I go okay. You know this makes well, sense. Well, that's this what it is because we're in the age of information, so we're supposed to take information take from in. everyone. Yeah. 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 So basically on the real, on the private side, that's the natural, you know, us. That's the real flesh spirit, you know, within the vessel, our little meat suit. So that's the real person. On the public, they create an artificial one of you and call it your name and social, but they're like. And you're all caps. Because if you look me, at government papers, right? it's all Are caps. You here? I'm present. So that makes you dead, by the way. All caps. Letters. All caps. Yeah. Yeah. It's cap human capital. That's why you go to human resources. Exactly. Yeah, right. Your cat and Capitol Hill runs everything, so it's all the you. capitals. Yeah, <laughs> and your, you know, your capital. Yeah, right. The treasure. Well, mm -hmm. going back to Rome, Caesar used to rule from Capitoline Hill. Look at that. We have Capitol Hill. Yeah, yep. and everything's like that when you look at the mm -hmm. the Italian words, right? Seven hills. There it is. Um, Rome. Sorry, <laughs> a little Bible reference. <laughs> but that's what I mean. I like to bring all that in, you know, because I know you get a lot of flack you know, from the religious sector, where if you just sit there and do what I did, read it back and forth several times, you'll start picking up stuff like, Absolutely. whoa, the whole part where the ships all go down and the merchants, like it's all there, the merchant, market, mare, it's all here. I think a lot of that too is etymology. People need to start breaking down the, the words. Yes. 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 Citus. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a good time to talk about it. Let's do it. So <laughs> citizen, you're calling yourself a citizen, right? Um, when you look up the law, it's the United States Code uh, 12, I can't remember exactly, I want to say 12, 14, something like that. But it's, well, I know it's in the United States Code 12, but which section, I'm not sure. Um, offhand, I have it on my phone. I could look it up. But um, that code says, you know, the United States is a federal corporation, which got me thinking, well, who am I pledging allegiance to? Mm -hmm. A federal corporation? So the Act from 1871. 
Um, I don't know when the 1871 came. I'm just saying the, 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 the definition. States of America and the no, United now States. that is from 1871. Yeah, that has to do with uh, Congress and the Convention of Congress, and then they didn't want the system, but they were promised all these things like infrastructure. So of course, some states signed on, and some states never they they seceded mm -hmm. because they never convened that last Congress. This is the whole debate going on right now, like which rat acts were actually ratified because that Congress never reconvened because they didn't want any part of it. They did not want part of it. So that's 1871 history. That Congress still wow. sits dormant to this day. So they created the fake one, which is what we're in now, the maritime law one. Yeah. So that all this history is fascinating to me. Like, I just, it just blows me away the more I learn. It's like, it, it just keeps getting deeper and thicker. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got back to, oh, citizen, um, yeah. which is what I was going to say. So we're calling ourselves a citizen, mm -hmm. okay? Citizen is a play on words. We all know spelling, right? Mm -hmm. The, 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 the play spell. on the spell, yeah, yeah and, the, and the way we spell the word. Um, so S-I-T-U-S, -S, so the origin of C-I-T-I-Z in citizen is actually citus, C-I-T or citus. Citus in, in, we would say citus right here, but in Latin would be citus, um, which they would say, your, c your citus, citizen, citi, yeah, e. it's E, right? Oh, the e, yes. I have to think of my Latin <laughs> yes. roots. Um, so citus, yeah. yeah. So that word, it means property in a jurisdiction. Yes. Mm -hmm. And pledging allegiance. I am as well. a U.S. citizen. Property. So you catch mm -hmm. Trump a few times saying I'm a national. Yes. We have the Washington what? Nationals. Mm -hmm. They're telling you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So that was kind of how I figured that out because when I went through the IRS battle that I had, they were which is on Micah's show. You can catch that um, interview. Um, they said that the three people that owed. Um, taxes were people that worked for the federal government, lived in D.C., or were in the military. Yeah, were employees. So I was like, well, how did, which one did you make me? <laughs> they did. They made us all employees. Mm -hmm. Because Code of Federal Re Regulations 363, nice. and then there's 363.6, Six. Mm -hmm. The definition of minor says if you don't take control of your own securities accounts. So it, it says a person who is under 18 or if you haven't taken control of your securities accounts. Which who is, in this room has taken control of your securities accounts? None of us, which makes us accounts. a ward of the state. You're, you're technically still a minor. Why a lawyer has to come in and speak for you in court? You're not. That's why you can't speak up. You're not a, an adult. Yeah, right. so when I go to court, I do pro se or pro per so, and proper person. Yeah, that's person. what I did yeah. Yeah. for my court case recently. Yeah, you should, you should tell a little bit of that, and then we'll go <laughs> yeah, back yeah, to yeah. going through our thing. Okay, so... Um, Last Monday, I had my last case, uh, my last court date. So I only had two court days, guys. And you, know, everybody knows when you, you know, get a charge, you are you have to go through the uh, bond process. Then you have to do arraignment. A charge? Are you talking about like a credit card yeah, charge? Yeah. Yes, we can talk about that yeah, too. So, yeah, we'll talk about that next. So, <laughs> but so instead of going through that process, I went, of course, through the bond process because I got arrested. So I got kidnapped, I should say. Um, and I got arrested and I bonded out and then I had arraignment. But before arraignment, I sent off a certified, as she was saying, document to the judge and I wrote specific codes in there and told them that the charges they levied against me were um, illegal. They weren't lawful and they um, wouldn't stand in trial basically. And I signed it with my beneficiary signature. So that moved me out of the public. And I, when I did this, I moved her my case out of state jurisdiction into federal, which goes above the judge. Do you remember your, they set that trust up for you, mm -hmm. right? When you were born, that, that became a trust. Yes, and so then they moved so the you're jurisdiction. The beneficiary. You're the beneficiary, yeah, exactly. Um, and that lets the judge know that I know who I am, and so we're no longer working with my corporate entity. Now we're working with myself, and I'm now the agent of my corporate entity. And I, that's letting them know that I know that you're trying to levy money off of my trust, basically. So I sent this to her. Um, when I walked into the courtroom, she sent me out of the courtroom because I was now I'm stepping in their jurisdiction, so I had to get out of the jurisdiction. Um, and a um, public defender came to speak to me and said that the uh, state's attorney didn't want to do anything for six months. They were just going to, you know, give me a six, six months um, evaluation, basically. I can come back then. They were going to extend it to then. You never hear about six months, you know, court dates. It's going to be in two weeks. It's going to be in a month, but not six months out. So at that point, I knew in my head, like, okay, they know that I know, and this is going to work. So I left. Um, when I came back, which was Monday, six months later, um, 
I went in there and the public defender said that they were going to dismiss it without prejudice, without recourse, with a stipulation. And the stipulation was that um, as long as I don't sue, <laughs> they would dismiss this case because they Stop knew that I knew. process that for a minute. <laughs> if you yes. don't sue us. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. I mean, it was ridiculous. I was like, whoa, okay. And I had a friend with me and his eyes got really big because I've been trying to teach him this process. And, you know, we saw it in real time. We experienced it in real time. So, yeah, we went up there. Um, the, they didn't say anything about my case charges. You know, usually the state's attorney is trying to attack you, throw, bring in your past and all those stuff. But, no, um, then they just dismissed it, and I walked out, and that was it, without prejudice, without recourse. Yeah, that and that's it. it. And that's another way you sign. And uh, you can still actually sue even if they tell you not to because, again, it's a different jurisdiction so. right and you really can't tell the boss what to do they can do whatever well that's they want. that's a uh, bribery yeah but I mean they don't really want people to know this because mm -hmm. and I thought about this and and if you really think like what you, you become super like very powerful right when you know this information mm -hmm. and I don't mean like powerful in like this haughty sense well, no and I went in there very peaceful it's peaceful I went in there very calm and I didn't have to do any talking the document did everything for me because I moved it into a higher court that's uh, what postmaster yeah you do it through certified mail so it's a higher jurisdiction and they you know like I said don't go in there belligerent just go in there calm and yeah. the paperwork did all the talking for me it was so simple Right. I could, I've never in my life, I've been going through court a lot, you know, my entire life since a juvenile. Yeah. Um, and so I was just blown away. I was blown away that that happened like that. Um, and it was the same thing with my cable bill. <laughs> just on the, you know, on the cable aspect of it, I haven't paid a cable bill in six months because I did the same thing, a Bill of Exchange Act. Yeah. So, so and I told them security's fraud, basically. And so yeah, they and haven't a lot sent of people me a bill. ask like, well, how come attorneys don't know this? How come CPAs they're don't not know taught this? this? Because they don't. They're not. And and this is no disrespect for anybody that is mm -hmm. in that field. Because I have you know friends and everything, yeah. and we've had some conversations, and they're like, I've never heard this in my life. I, I asked them directly, have you studied the Federal Exchange Act? Right? Have you, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, Bill of Exchange. Federal Reserve Act, the Bill of Exchange yes. Act, Trust Indenture Act, yes. and they don't. That's where this is all hidden. So if you want an education, Bill of that's Exchange where you start. Act, man. Bill of Exchange Act will change your life. Because <laughs> every bill, every single thing you get is a bill of exchange. And that's a coupon exchange. that they're sending you. And it's a coupon, which is also a um, uh, legal t tender. And that coupon is a positive number if you're looking at your bill. There's no negative sign. And in school, what did we learn? Negative and positive numbers for one for debt, one for, yeah. It's your charge. It's a charge. So they're actually double dipping. They're getting your donate donated money because that's how they file it, donation, and your whole entire account's already paid off. The IRS in the Internal Revenue Code manual says it's a bequeath. Mm -hmm, beautiful. You're bequeathing wow. it. Your charitable mm -hmm. donation. Yeah, and it's already paid. They they as soon as you gave them your Social Security number and approved that a contract, they went and got the entire bill paid. Wow. It's yeah. already covered. Yeah. Yep. So this is the kind of stuff that we will literally like change. And again, even if it's so much study that we don't have, you know, some people don't have 10 years left in life to do all this. It's the idea that, that we know about it now. The, the, you know, the game is up. And like doing what I'm doing, I'm teaching my children this. Exactly. They're 12 and 14, this I'm telling the, them this. This is the biggest mm -hmm. key. And, and what I've been doing too is creating, um, kind of like you were doing with, with the children's books. Mm -hmm. I'm actually taking and using AI for good and saying, hey, can you rewrite this section of the, you know, Bill of Exchange Act so that a 12-year-old can That's understand beautiful. it? Beautiful. Yes. Now can you write me a story that demonstrates this? This is what they need. And yes. that gets it. So it's watering it down for a kid, but there's a lot of adults that can't get this, yeah. right? So what we're doing is kind of taking this tool and using it for good and saying let's educate the masses on what's going on so everybody knows so when i walk in and say hi this is securities fraud they're like oh let me get you the right person instead of i'm sorry what wait hold on let me get my supervisor yeah exactly <laughs> like now they know because mm -hmm. we're you know, everything is a security. A bill is a security. Everything. It's the security of the nation because mm -hmm. that's our, you know, value, right? The dollar, the, the money. So they've taken, you know, basically this, this money system and profited it off of it uh, for themselves. So that when we say the legal imitates the spiritual, they are P-R-O-P-H-E-T's because we know they control the flow of the mm -hmm. market. Mm -hmm. 
and they're profiting themselves and they just are patient and the money you know the market's designed for the patient not for the people who are trying to get rich quick so they know this they know we're all in debt you know drowning in debt all these things so that's where we have to come back to explaining to people so i just kind of made this little chart because i thought it was a good visual but like the private is the natural right we talked about that versus the artificial or the fake mm -hmm. um on the private side is the, the the god spirit entity you know if you don't believe in that whatever you're you know affinity again let's come God's together personal. on this and say god okay you personal. call it source i call it god i don't yeah know yeah it's a personal thing it's, yeah whatever you yeah. deem but basically we know that we didn't just you know pop out of, yeah. out of nowhere here <laughs> um so the god the devil um i say that's that's the adversary to me this was yeah. actually the mark of the beast if you want to go that yes route. i agree because i, I know completely agree and, and I'm, I'm sure you know this is just my theory but like you know you know your name and your number you can close your eyes and write it with mm -hmm. your right hand mm -hmm. it's in your head you you know how much is in your bank account right mm -hmm. like it's that um i, I went through the, all of the mark of the beast um you know descriptions and mm -hmm. i'm like there's literally nothing it doesn't fit and it says who can war against the beast why because we keep feeding it absolutely because we're mm -hmm. and i i'm going to use this word ignorant but i don't mean it in a derogatory way because ignorant means ignorance ignorance uh -huh. right so we're ignoring the the fact um the good the evil the death that that dead entity is your adversary it's keeping you on the debt side it's keeping you, you enslaved it. it's keeping you in the bondage because mm -hmm. your first certificate it becomes a bond and that's how they make money off yep. you so do your bills and by the way 80 20 rule they're supposed to be giving you 80 percent of the interest that they're making that yep. they're making and you're supposed to they're supposed where you to can 20. go on the back and you never knew that so you didn't know to revoke it yep <laughs> yeah that thank you to paths to freedom i'm gonna give my, i give my roses Dude, i love them yeah, yeah tamika from paths to freedom mm -hmm. uh S F R D M. If you want to look her up on, yeah, online. she's great, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so we got common law on the private side, admiralty, maritime law on the dead entity side. We got the light, we got the dark, right? Because it's the dead, and I say I dead entity. Real quick? Sure. Yeah. I see the positive and the negative charge. Yeah. Right. Is that why when you go to court? They'll charge you with battery, and if you don't pay, battery is what? <laughs> if you don't pay, charge. Yep. They'll put you in a cell. Yeah, and they give you oh, over beautiful. to the bail. Yeah. Oh, I love That's that. Ball. Ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Um, so we got lawful and legal. I'll come back to that. Lawful versus legal. Lawful is the right, the common law right. That's your that's your natural God given right. Okay, and we all have no, that. That's true. That's Again, true. regardless of what you your um, you know affiliations and are. And I always tell people this: like, what a, you might find something that's legal, but it might not even be lawful. Right. Exactly. You know? Like we talked about, mm -hmm. a car pay, a down payment on a car illegal it's super illegal you're not supposed to have anything you already have it. insurance before you drive off the lot don't let just like a driver's you. license not supposed to have one either no it, it, i learned that too that uh, the jurisdictions for that i by the way the court case that i had was also tied to uh driving court and that disappeared on its own hmm imagine that mm. i know <laughs> I, I wish brian parker was here because he can tell you he kind of has mind a you, my driver's status yeah and, and my and, invite him I, didn't I know. Him, but he couldn't make I wish he could have came, but yeah, my driver's license was suspended during the process. By the way, we're giving flowers to Brian Parker too because he's mm -hmm. he was the first one to step out and kind of get people together oh, on yeah. Facebook, which Super is very risky. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, you know, he's had some a lot of bad things like flack and, but you know, yeah. I, I give mad props to that guy for for being brave and he and, deep dive too. He's yeah, so he good. gives a free law class, free. So he gets yeah, every week precedents now. and law. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he's he's a good one. He's free to check out. Um, so yeah, Brian Parker, um, tactical sovereignty, uh, administering the estate, which everybody's in the Mansa's good too. It's your estate, mm -hmm. your energy state. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Mansa, Mansa too. Mm -hmm. All of these guys, like we 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 have a lot that we we study for. Yeah, everybody. we do. <laughs> we're always sending each other stuff. Like, hey, let's do this. Um, I wanted to bring up what Matt brought up because you were talking about the public and the, or I'm sorry, the private coins. So we put that on there too, the lunar punk versus the solar punk. Okay, there's your, you know, private versus, um, uh, private versus public. Mm -hmm. um, in legal terms, you've already heard of the fiction, the legal fiction, that's what you are. You are a legal fiction because it's not real. It's a dead paper entity. It doesn't do anything without your energy. Mm -hmm. So the fiction is always on the public side. You always wanna stay on the private side. Now here's the thing, you can jump back and forth. Yeah. So guess what, you're the boss, you're the authority. Mm -hmm. so, so you can do. Metaphorically, would you say that like, spiritually that's what all these zombie movies are about they're just people yeah. yes we're all dead around. asleep they're absolutely going, it's, it's all no making zombie fun apocalypse of us. right it is. it's making fun of us yes. I'm, I'm just gonna say mm -hmm. it it is legoland oh my gosh yeah 
what does it say? Uh, everybody's awesome. And it's like, be uh, be the norm, just conform. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. you see all these little subliminals if you read all the signs in the back. It's like, that's exactly what's going on. <laughs> President Business is the antagonist, right? And he's like the bad guy, looks like kind of the, you know, devil figure. He's the, he's your adversary. He's got the red, fiery hair that's crazy, mm -hmm. right? So he's just telling you, telling us everything. Um, and then you're living. by the way, in Hebrew, is the, is what? Hashatan. The word is Hashatan, which yeah. is where we get Satan from. It mm. literally just means adversary. That's right. nice. Mm. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like when I first when I first started learning this stuff, I literally was like, okay, what is going on right now? You know what I mean? Because you get, have that moment where you're like, what is this book exactly? Is it the code? Because the way yeah. I figured out my tax case was the verse, settle your affairs with the magistrate quickly, lest he throw it, give you over to the bail if and throw you into jail. So I'm like, well, I got to settle it before I go to court. And that's how you handle court. You do it before you go to court. Yeah. You don't go to court because that's is, their playing field. Which is what I did with mail, that certified, certified letter. Mail, registered mail. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Let yeah, and there's... One question. There's something that Santos Bonacci mentioned that I wanted to ask you. And apparently, is it true that, I mean, obviously with the judge, you have to, um, he wants you to switch roles. That's why he wants you to agree to your dead name, right? Which is why he asked your name at first, mm -hmm. right? He's establishing jurisdiction and they also ask where you live. However... Your address. Isn't it true that like if you play this stuff with people, I mean, it costs money to bring you to court, mm -hmm. right? But so they charge is, is everything it true that the to your account. Actually, carries a checkbook in case someone like you comes in. They, it's said to be. Yeah, it's said to be. You can also invoke court at two o'clock in the morning, which I didn't know either. There's oh, so, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carl Lentz actually did it. He got court open at two o'clock in the morning. Well, you see that a lot when, when, when you're talking about last minute. Um, there's a lot of. Um, there's like, like movements of people who are about to be, like state of executions, for example, mm -hmm. where people are about to be executed and there's like a giant movement to like not let them and they, they convene late night with the judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they do this hold court true. late night. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, a, like a midnight. What was that TV show? Night Court or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Telling you what's going on, folks. Wake up. Yeah, the movies are telling you everything. And by the way, before we jump forward, um, oh. court is like a court, basketball court. You're just playing a game. Yeah. That's all it is. It's a game. Yeah. Question: um, Does this stuff apply to like if you um, immigrate to the United States, or if you have a name change, or anything where you you kind of are not the norm? Immigrants are in different jurisdiction. You actually have more power as an immigrant. Than they yeah, do. that's why everybody's like, oh. I pay taxes and they're no, getting free this yeah. and free that. Like a legal, like you got your green card, you are now an American. Can they do all of this? So the system is global. Mm -hmm. okay. Now be. I always, in the same thing that Derek and I were talking about, when I don't know exactly the answer to something, I have to like either connect you with the right person that I know has that answer, which I think I know um, for you, um, how that would be done. But here's what I do know. When a whole flood of about 200,000 W-4 audit requests went into the IRS to audit all the banks, when you saw all these charges getting hit for what was it, seventy-five billion dollars for they Wells or something? Hired all those IRS agents. Yeah. 80, so when you saw that happening, people all over the world were sending in United States documents, which I thought was very wow. interesting. So wow. it's already a global system. It's mm -hmm. already been. It's not going to a one world. It's already been. It's the illusion that everybody's separate, and yeah. that's why we have the wars against the. You know, people that that bulk the system, right? Because they don't they don't want them in there and telling what's going on. Yeah, exactly. You know, like we tell Gaddafi's story yeah. very well, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, so just always remember, you're you're the living entity. You're dealing with a dead entity. Meaning, I say dead, I just mean it has no life in it without you, right? You're the living spirit. You were given all the abundance. You, you know were that given. sounds like to me. What? What is technically alive? only when it's in a host, a virus. Oh, I was gonna say bacterial, <laughs> yeah. Oh, virus. nice. Yeah. yeah. Viruses don't exist without a host. Right, mm. yeah, I know. When I first saw that, I was like going back to like 1993 <laughs> biology class, and I'm like, hold on, I just very distinctly remember <laughs> that I had to have a bacterial host to keep a virus yeah, alive, absolutely. meaning I can, <laughs> in my hand, and there it is, but how did, it dies in air in like three seconds. Yep. So I was kind of like, what is going on here? So the water theory actually kind of made a lot of sense to me, but um, if you guys are familiar with that. So real quick with the charge, um, United States Code 15, um, yeah, yeah, United States Code 15 um, talks about the fact that your, um, your social security is a credit card. It says any plate or card yep. is a charge card, yep. electric, positive, right? 
the balance, the male, female, we're coming into the balance, mm -hmm. as, as Priscilla likes to talk about. So <laughs> they, all they want to do is get you into court and what they call revenue you, which is you're in a venue, which is right now you're in this venue. Mm -hmm. Actually, you were born in this that venue. One, They're yeah. moving you to this one, one because you don't know any better. It's our ignorance of this fact that allows them to get revenue. So revenue is revenue. Ooh, nice. Yeah. yeah, so that's what they're doing. And then they can charge that credit account. Because mm -hmm. remember, the dollar is a debt note yep. on the negative side. Yes. So everything is working on this side, right? All of us, our whole lives on this side. Mm -hmm. It's about to change. Yeah, because yeah, now <laughs> people are understanding the positive side, the credit. Mm -hmm. Well, then, oh, and everybody's asking now, well, then how do I access account? How do I get my bills paid? Like, it's going like wildfire. It like, is. it can't be stopped now. It's this huge. movement. It's huge. If you're just hearing for this for the first time, this has been going on it's, for 10 years, but the movement yeah. is like growing like I said 200 some thousand they estimated from one group one group of like 6,000 people sent boxes of IRS audit requests which is why they had to hire boxes. all those people yes mm -hmm. I'm talking like people were going through their entire credit report since they were 18 because you can get that from LexisNexis there's so Every many credit bank. companies that you, yep. you think there's three there's like 43 so why are they training these new agents with guns well, because they want, if you don't know, right, and you're not, so this is this is the whole wrap up <laughs> to this. Question. Let's put a nice bow on it. Yeah, let's <laughs> put question. this nice bow on it. Because once we declare who we are and put it on record, record is everything. Mm -hmm. You're recording Administrative who you process. are. So there's something called a declaration of status or a status change. You'll hear different people call it different things because there's no real name for it. We just call it what we think it is, right? We're changing our status. Status correction. There's something right here. Mm -hmm. Back to the natural spirit being you the spirit inside the vessel which is why the debt goes away it starts to knock yeah. down the you know the world's debt yeah here. this is the credit side this yeah. is the debt side but that's why the debt credit keeps debt. rising because everybody's on this the side. debt's rising because the water line is rising side. so this is your positive negative mm -hmm. Priscilla, air do water wanna, do you want to i want i want to get this on camera so everyone understands sure you're technically not supposed to be denied credit at all no. It's illegal for you to be denied it's credit. It's a securities fraud if they did that. Do you want to yeah. explain the Navy federal credit thing that you were... Okay, so that's Mansa. flowers. Yeah, let's Mansa. go. Mansa is awesome. Um, he was. <laughs> we love our teachers. You guys are great. Uh, he we, put a video you. up with a girl that he interviewed, and she applied for a Navy uh, federal credit card. She got denied, and all she did was go in there and write to who was the it? lending group. the lending group, and she told them um, basically in, in Lamex terms, um, what you're doing is security fraud. You can't deny me my credit. You know, she threw some laws in there, and it was what like a day. They yeah. they sent her an approval, and she got her credit card seventy one hundred dollars. Yeah, seven grand. Yeah, Why and her Navy? credit wasn't good enough to get this, but she was trying to explain to them like I already have unlimited credit. But Priscilla, why the Navy federal credit? Um. I don't know why exactly she did that. Well, Navy but, Federal Bank of America. There's certain ones that are actually like government. Yeah. You know, yeah. citizen. Right. Like, yeah. Citizen back to the, that. The words are telling you what they <laughs> are. Bank of America. But you can do it with anyone, though. Yeah, like any, any bank. It really doesn't matter. The thing is, if you read the beginning of the Truth and Lending Act, which is United States Code 15. That's exactly what it is. Put it in yeah. ChatGPT if you can't understand it. Right. Write it. Rewrite it for yourself. Yep. Um, so I'm like. In this respect, go AI, right? Like we yeah. know some people yeah, yeah. are fearful. Of, there's there's things we can do to actually well, here to help, help us. humanity, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you read the Truth and Lending Act, um, it will tell you all the things that they're doing, and it literally says at the beginning, "This was written because there's so much fraud going on." Yeah. But nobody does anything about it, and guess what? The little, you know, what is it? Ten thousand people that might get through the gate. Do you think that affects Wells Fargo and Bank of America? Have you seen those graphics of how much money they, you know? It doesn't even affect, they don't even care. No, no, no. These we people don't. are going in now and they're suing, they're litigating. That's where we gotta stop being afraid of this, you know, we go into litigation. Not the court, but litigation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's more like mediation, right? We're going in and litigating all these people, like I did with the IRS. Which is why they told me not to sue, because I can sue they them said, and get my sue. money back, my securities that they sent off. Yeah, because mm -hmm. she could have probably, you probably gotta get crap ton of money. Oh, I'm gonna do it still. <laughs> I want <love> my money. <laughs> I won't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? She's the boss. She's the bank. Mm -hmm. You know? And once you yeah. learn that, and that's why Bitcoin comes back into play. So to tie this all in a nice bow, yes. we need to be changing our status on the record. 
Getting out of slavery, basically. Getting out of slavery. Coming get free. The authentication of the birth certificate because that gives you the highest copy in the land. And you can do the same thing with your title for your car. And you, you can deregister everything. Are you talking about getting a live birth record? So there's a so everything is like duality, certificate of live birth, and there's also a like a private birth certificate. Yeah. Private and public. Mm -hmm. See? Go ahead. Listen, okay. Siri. Take it all down. <laughs> AI, we're going to change it right now. Okay? So, um, oh, wait. Sorry. See, I got thrown off. What were we just talking about? <laughs> First of all, everything is dual. County of, you know, whatever your county is. And, well, well, give me a county. Sacramento County. Sacramento County, County of Sacramento. They're two different entities. Yes, because there's two Americas happening at the same time right now. Yeah, there's two Americas. So when you hear people talking about, like, um, Biden's not really president because he's the president of that company. He's the of the cor corporation. That company, yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's why, this like, is the corporation which, from '71, right? Right. Which is why Trump was like, "I'm a national." <laughs> yeah. Because so they know. Yeah, they do know. That's why I say, but like, he said, "I'm a national. I'm a nationalist," and they were like, "Can you believe our president is a white nationalist?" Right. They make it into a bad thing. Yeah. That, that's why I said everything you tell me not to do, I'm going to go look it up because now I just don't believe it. Like, mm -hmm. thank you for giving us all this BS yeah. all this all of my life because now everything you say, I'm going the other way. I'm a dang salmon upstream now. Mm -hmm. Really. I also I'm like, learned, I'm going the other way. I also learned, I don't know how true this is, but I learned to know the difference when you're watching that stuff on media is the flag. The flag, if it has fringes, means it's the republic. If it has no fringes, you're in the corporation, basically. I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, it's the other way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, the other way around then. Yeah, but gold that's kind of how I... That's why the United mm -hmm. States, when the, the president's speaking, it's always the gold fringe. Yeah, you can see it. It's yeah, corporation. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. who are you pledging allegiance to is my first question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are we pledging? So it's just, it's again, it's the tearing the veil, shifting our mindset. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay, so now we've got the you know the law piece, right? The the which is the kind of the DC side. Mm -hmm. We've got the money piece now, and then we have the other piece, which is the religion and education, where the we strategy. start to see what you know everything we've been told to stay away from. Hey, wait, maybe there's something to why I'm supposed to stay away from a crystal that is grown from a mineral in the earth, and the mineral is actually what we are made out of and what how these phones heals are made us. Out of crystal. Yeah. Like, we're so evil, but we're using the crystals to make the phones. All yeah. right, guys, we got to start winding this down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we got to get out. Hey, uh, thanks for giving us some time today. Yes, we hope you, you go down that little rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. um, don't follow everyone, you know. How can we wrap it up for just those who are not as bright as you and, and i'm included in that group <laughs> to you'll get there everybody go, will yeah to go and do some research what would be like five things that we can go and research um i would say like the question in case you guys didn't hear it uh from derek um is uh, give us five examples of what we can look into. Basically. I think the first person you should look into is Jordan Maxwell. He explains it very well with the spiritual to the physical. Yeah. Oh, so, you mean steps we can do? Is that what you're talking steps about? Steps that we can make to go and start this corporation. What, you have to learn the stuff first. Start with Jordan Maxwell, people like that. You want to also watch people like Santos because they break it down on a spiritual. Once you understand on a spiritual level, you'll start to get it on the tangible level. That's kind of like the 101 is just to open your eyes. You to have it. to go then, spiritual first. Now go, st go you know, go mm -hmm. read the Federal uh, Reserve Act, which funny because laws are written so complicated. Yes, it, that one's not. How yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the people that are supposed to read it, like, who goes and reads the Federal Reserve Act? Nobody. Right? But they do, and it's very understandable. So take those documents the Federal Reserve Act, the Trust and Denture Act, the Bills of Exchange Act, um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of them all, uh, Truth and Lending Act, right? There's there's, pro there's uh, one more. Fair I would Credit say five. Act. Too. Fair Credit Reporting yeah. Act, yeah. yeah. Those acts are where everything hides. Acts, period, because Bill we're acts. acting. We're, we're in a stage, we're Bill acting. Bill Exchange, yeah. 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 yeah, every act is basically us acting because we're, we're architects. The Crown. The, yeah. the Crown developed mm -hmm. it. So if we're using it, Remember how everybody said, oh, we're not under the crown? Oh, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those acts all came from right. the parliament. Yep. So yeah. real quick, Pr Priscilla's still looking into this, and she's been applying it, too. Mm -hmm. um, she'll have a channel up eventually. Yes. <laughs> but we'll be doing more interviews like this real quick. But Carrie, again, we don't come out here. I don't come out here and show my books. I don't come out here and show things. That's not it. But I want you to know is that there's people out here doing real work. And um, it's what Socrates said, and forgive me because you're a woman, but he said that um, employ your time in other men's writings so that it will come easy for you what the others have labored hard for. Absolutely. And that's basically what Carrie has done. Carrie, do you want to talk about your little your little course that you uh, that you have? Do you want to just throw that out there real quick? Yeah, I just created um, a private trust course. It's about 
almost four hours long. It gives you like trust basics and how to set it up because um, every state constitution has a law in there that says that they cannot impede on a private contract. So get to know your state constitutions mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you know that, then you can create your own family trust and protect that. And there's so many things people have done. That's why I wish Brian Parker was here because he operates under a DBA. Many famous people that you know and watch every day are all operating under DBAs, Yeah. the fiction. Yeah. They're creating that and they're operating under it. Well, and the reason for the trust too, like she's saying, it's protection. If you take the living birth certificate or birth certificate, you move it to the trust. Again, they have no jurisdiction. So they can't come kidnap your kids and put you in CPS and things like that. Yeah. So It's moving the jurisdiction yeah, yeah right from, back mm -hmm. from the public back to the private to its rightful state that's the whole point of this is moving ourselves back to what is rightfully yep. the abundance that we were supposed to have with ours right? the trust we've God. been asking how do we get out of this how do we get out of this how can one person change the world right. just start knowing that even if you never do anything about it just know it exists knowing age of aquarius and knowing. teaching the kids and this, so they start to hear it right like they're hearing it they're they're knowing it by the time they get to be 18 you know they already have that knowledge that this is how things operate not yeah. the way facts at this point it's about what we can prove you know who you are who we know yes yeah and that's why I said it's spiritual because I was studying this like you 10 years ago and I couldn't understand a lick of it because I wasn't spiritual enough then I wasn't evolved at that point mm -hmm. so once I started kind of doing astrology and taking doing the work because the Bible like the Bible says study to shoot thyself approved I started yeah, studying and then it started opening up so what was very complicated like people are gonna say oh the law is so confusing once you start opening up and studying it will really all fall in the line for you but like it started all making sense to me after a while. We go back to simplicity and key, etymology too. You right? have to learn the basics of the words, the roots of the words, yeah. to break out down law because law again is legalese. It's Latin mixed with English. Yeah. All right, guys. So just Carrie, just tell everyone where to find your stuff and how to reach out to you if necessary. Both yeah. of you, if you okay. just want to tell where people can reach out to you. Okay. Yeah, I'm on um, on Instagram at truthtalk.live, and then I also have truthtalk.live as the yeah. website. And right, it's in the making, so we have just one course up there. So you know, when you're clicking on everything, it's not there. It's it's a work in progress. I want to really try to bring together minds that are stronger than my own. I'm a really good organizer of bringing people together and creating and moving forward. Um, so you know, that's kind of my mission is to just literally, how can one person change the world? It's this right education yeah. for me all day long. So taking that knowledge, and I'll I do little tiny you know Instagram drops of just fun facts and like things yes because the more you hear it right it's repetition and you're hearing it you're doing it over and over because I don't know about you but I'd rather be in the common law and know yeah. what I'm dealing with yeah. than have to operate in this very confusing world where I need some medium right to tell me because that's what it is the, the court system is imitating the spiritual you go in there there's a guy in a black robe on a pew this on a different Saturday. platform Public is Saturday. with pews right and he's yep. telling you he's playing the role of God to tell you what you have to do mm -hmm. so we want to get out of that jurisdiction because it's very it's obviously corrupt and we don't we don't stop the corruption so until your, we educate. what's your website and where can people get your course and tell them how much it is and things of that nature I guess yeah it's still up there from yours it's like 45 bucks I think we did a, a deal mm -hmm. it's true yeah the website's truthtalk.live Okay. truthtalk.live and so I'm that on Instagram I'll, I'll try to eventually go to other platforms as well but mm -hmm. um very limited time, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, I, um, before I tell you guys one more thing, like I was saying earlier, that's Saturn. The side is Uranus, because Uranus it was, represents freedom. So Ooh. that's the age of Aquarius. It's freeing us. Um, you can find me at spiritcoachingastrology.com. I also have an app that you can download for Apple and uh, uh, Android. And yeah, that's where you can find me. I don't have my YouTube up yet. Um, when I get my podcast, I will. What's but it's the same thing, spiritcoachingastrology.com. And for either Android or Apple, so. Okay. You guys have any parting words, last thoughts? I say check out Priscilla. She's amazing. Like she'll bring it all together for you. You're yeah, I do. I do more of the spiritual side where I try to help you get out of that whole three D, two um, D aspect of this understanding. Is the, the mind, the mind control. So I do, like you do, Micah. We we are literally un 
mind controlling people on fucking people, I should say. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. So yeah. I'm just bringing people from that uh, zombie state into the spiritual state, waking them up. That's it. Bringing okay. them back to life, resuscitating them. We're basically. told like to stay away, but the fact is, yeah, if we that's actually why. work together in our groups, knowing this information. Mm -hmm. There's a company in Japan doing it now, and it's like wildly successful because they're they using work like the, four yeah. days a week. They're using now astrology because they're using our compatibility because that matters on an energetic level. Accomplish more faster. Also a company overseas and it might be in Japan too, that started hiring people based on their birth charts. That's that's them. that's what she, yeah. yeah, that's what she Because let me think about it. If I'm not good with finances and I want a uh, Capricorn to run my business, right? Bingo. You hire your you hire better than you right. to, to make yourself successful. Absolutely. So imagine if we apply these things, right? We've all been told to stay away from them, but yet there was a point in a mathematical precision in which we were all born that correlates with astrology. Yeah, right? but everyone's told in you know religion to stay away. But who, again, who made the stars? Just like with trading too, I with digress. Bitcoin and all that, it's all based off the sun and moon, uh, the orbits of the moon. So if you can learn that, you can trade it like no, with no problem. So. The markets, the waves, you have the yes, that's the moon. The it's the moon. Mm -hmm. With the moon. Because the moon uh, waxes and wanes, right? The, the, the women. women's cycles on yes. the men's, the men. It waxes and wanes, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ladies, thank moon. you so very much. Very well. Thank you guys for having us. Yeah. That's how the story goes.